Diversity Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. Last time we saw Pembroke College, Cambridge, take the first of the eight places in the quarterfinals. The next place goes to whichever team wins tonight. Now, the University of York beat the Trinity Love and Conservatoire by 185 points to 105 in their first round match. They knew about uh, cravings for food, the composition of the chimera and the use of the guillotine. And they were especially strong on things that are coloured green. Let's meet them. Hi, my name is Alex Leonhart. I'm from Porthgall in South Wales. and I'm studying for a master's degree in political philosophy. Hello, I'm Robin Virgo from Stamford in Lincolnshire and I'm studying chemistry. And their captain. Hi, I'm Rebecca Woods. I'm from Chester in Cheshire and I'm studying for my MA in psycholinguistics. Hello, I'm Edward Haynes from Kenilworth in Warwickshire and I'm studying for a PhD in biology. New College Oxford scored 230 points against the 145 of Homerton College Cambridge in a barnstorming performance in which they knew a lot about Greek mythology, Pythagoras' theorem, and the War of Jenkins' ear. Just about their only Achilles heel was the career of the late Ken Russell. Let's meet them again. Hi, I'm Remy Beecroft. I'm from Letteroff in Hertfordshire, and I'm studying psychology and philosophy. Hi, I'm India Lennon. I'm from London, and I'm studying classics. And their captain. Hi, I'm Andy Hood from Wasperton in Warwickshire, and I'm studying philosophy, politics, and economics. Hi, I'm Tom Kappelman from Bracknell in Berkshire, and I'm studying mathematics. OK, you all know the rules by now. Here we go then. First starter for ten. Three prizes awarded each year for writing in different media are named after which British author who aspired to make political writing into an art and who died in 1950? The prize was founded in 1993 by Bernard Crick and funded in part from the royalties of his biography of the author. New College Lennon. Orwell. George Orwell is correct, yes. Your bonuses are on philosophy and literature, New College. Which Latin-derived philosophical term was popularised by Turgenev's 1862 novel Fathers and Sons, where it was used to describe the crude scientism espoused by the character Bazarov? Reductionism? No, it's nihilism. The anarchist Sergei Nechayev became the model for a self-described nihilist in The Possessed, sometimes called The Devils, a novel of 1872 by which Russian writer? Dostoevsky. Correct. Written in 1880, Vera, or The Nihilists, was the first stage work of which Irish literary figure? Uh, George Bernard Shaw. That was Oscar Wilde. Ten points for this. The oncoviruses, lentiviruses and fomiviruses belong to which family of enveloped single-stranded RNA viruses? They all possess the enzyme reverse transcriptase, which allows integration of proviral DNA into the host genome. York Haynes. Retroviruses. Correct. Your cure bonuses are on foreign secretaries. In the words of the Foreign and Commonwealth Office website, in each case, name the Labour Prime Minister in whose cabinet the following served. Firstly, Patrick Gordon Walker, a good linguist. He was one of the few British foreign secretaries this century who could converse in German with a German foreign minister. Ramsay MacDonald. No, that was Harold Wilson. Secondly, Arthur Henderson, known affectionately as Uncle Arthur, he was a teetotaler, a non-smoker and a Methodist lay preacher. An unusual combination in the Foreign Office. Uh, Ramsay MacDonald. That was Ramsay MacDonald, yes. And finally, Herbert Morrison did not quite have the diplomatic touch. He once joked foreign policy would be OK except for the bloody foreigners. Um, Clement Attlee. Correct. Ten points for this start question. What anglicised surname was shared by two explorers? The father became a Venetian citizen in 1476, but later helped lay the groundwork for the British claim to Canada. His son, born in either Bristol or Venice, was a cartographer to Henry VIII and drew a map of the world, now in the National Library of France. Your Haynes. Columbus. Nope. New College Kappelman. Cabot. Cabot is correct, yes. John and Sebastian Cabot. 
So your bonuses are on diseases named after islands, New College. Malta or Maltese fever is another name for which notifiable contagious disease usually contracted by drinking infected milk or through close contact with infected animals? Hepatitis B? No, it's brucellosis or undulant fever. Tangier disease, a rare inherited genetic condition characterized by very low HDL cholesterol levels, takes its name from an island in which North American bay bounded by Maryland and Virginia? Chesapeake? Correct. Causing symptoms including fever and chest pain, Bornholm disease is an infection named after an island of which Nordic country where it was first observed in the 1930s? Norway? No, it's Denmark. Ten points for this. Listen carefully. In his We Shall Fight on the Beaches speech of June the 4th, 1940, Churchill named four other general locations as places where we shall fight. For ten points, name three of them. York Virgo. Town, streets, field. Nope. One of you buzz from New College. New College Hood. Skies, town... No, it was landing grounds, fields, streets and hills. Ten points for this. What is the three-letter stage name of the London-born musician of Sri Lankan descent, Math Angi Adolf Bagger... York Leonhardt. M.I.A. M.I.A. is right, yes. <laughs> These bonuses could give you the lead again. They're on pairs of names. In each case, the surname of the first person described is the given name of the second. For example, Jane Austen and Austen Chamberlain. Your answer must include the given name and the surname of both people described. Firstly, for five, the 18th century inventor of the marine chronometer H4 and the actor whose film roles include John Book in Witness and Rick Deckard in Blade Runner. John Harrison and Harrison Ford. Correct. Secondly, the author of The World According to Garp and the composer of White Christmas. Bing Crosby. Chandler Bing and Bing Crosby. <laughs> no, it's John Irving and Irving Berlin. <laughs> and finally, the broadcaster and author whose works include cultural amnesia and the navigator who landed at Botany Bay in 1770. Henry James and James Cook? No, it's Clive James and James Cook. Right, for your picture starter now on this picture round, you're going to see a map showing some historic trade routes. Ten points if you can tell me the name by which these routes are most commonly known. York Haynes. The Silk Road. They are Silk Roads, yes. Right, for your picture bonuses, uh, three more maps showing significant historic trading routes. In each case, for five points, I want you to identify the commodity principally traded along the route and after which the route is named. Firstly, for five, this trading route in Europe. Timber? No, that's salt. Secondly, amber. Amber? That is amber, indeed, from the Baltic to Venice. And finally, the commodity after which this route is named. Frankincense. Frankincense. Yes, I'll accept that. Incense, generally, I would have taken two. Right, ten points for this. In ornithology, what is the common name of the distinctively patterned black and white wader of the Recur Virostra genus, characterised by an upturned bill? Your canes. Avocet. Avocet is correct, yes. Your bonuses this time are on zoology, York University. What name is that of a 19th century British naturalist and has been given to the boundary between the regions of Oriental and Australian fauna? I think it's Wallace. Sorry? I think it's Wallace. 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 Correct, the Wallace line. Having awarded the Darwin Wallace Medal for major advances in evolutionary biology every 50 years from 1908, what organisation announced that it would start giving the award annually from 2010? The Royal Zoological Society. No, it's the Linnaean Society of London. And finally, absent in the original edition and first used in publication by Herbert Spencer, Wallace encouraged Darwin to incorporate what four-word phrase into later editions of The Origin of Species? Yeah. Survival of the Fittest. Uh, survival of the Fittest. Correct. Ten points for this start question. 
The first British cyclist in 46 years to win the world road racing uh, championship. College Hood. Mark uh, Cavendish. Correct. Your bonus's new college are on women astronomers. Hired to work in his observatory by the Harvard professor of astronomy, Edward Pickering, for whom she'd been working as a housekeeper, the Scottish-born Williamina Fleming is credited with numerous discoveries, including in 1888, that of which nebula in the constellation of Orion? Horsehead. Correct. What two words complete the mnemonic for star classification devised by Annie Jump Cannon, Fleming's successor as curator of astronomical photographs at Harvard? It begins... Oh, be a fine girl. Sorry, we don't know. It's kiss me. Henrietta Leavitt, a colleague of both women, discovered the variable period luminosity relationship of what class of stars, making it possible to measure the distance between these stars and the Earth? Quasars? No, it's Cepheids. Ten points for this. The name of which type of popular cuisine begins place names denoting a region of the Karakoram Mountains, the largest city of Maryland, and a sea of northern Europe that's almost land... Yorkwoods. Balti. Balti is correct, yes. These bonuses are on philosophical views, York University, which concept holds that there are no universals and that truth, morals and culture can only be understood in their own socio-historic context. Relativism. Correct. What term describes any philosophy that magnifies the role played by unaided reason in the acquisition and justification of knowledge? Adherents include Descartes and Leibniz. Rationalism. Rationalism. Correct. What is the view that experience, especially of the senses, is the only source of knowledge? It's associated with Locke, Berkeley and Hume. Nominate Leonhardt. Empiricism. Correct. Ten points of this start of question. Rayleigh Taylor, Kelvin Helmholtz and Rayleigh Bernard are all types of what general physical phenomenon characterised by the unbounded growth of small disturbances? Your quotes. Butterfly effects. No. Anyone want to pass from New College? It's instability. Ten points for this. To which nearby island in the Venetian lagoon were the glass-making factories of Venice transferred at the end of the... New College, Lennon. Murano. Murano is correct, yes. <laughs> New College, these bonuses are on world rulers. I'll read a list of rulers who were on the throne or in power during the first year of a century of the common era. In each case, I simply want the century. Firstly, Robert III of Scotland, Charles VI, or the well-beloved of France, and the Asian conqueror, Tamerlane. Sixteen hundred? No, it's the 15th century. Raja Raja the Great of the Chola Empire of South India, Boleslav the Valiant of Poland, and Ethelred the Unready of England. Tenth century? No, it's the 11th century. And finally, Emperor her of the Eastern Han Dynasty, Pacorus II of Parthia, and the Roman Emperor Trajan. Third century? No, it's the second century. Right, time for a music round. Your music starter is a piece of popular music. Ten points if you can give me the name of the band playing, please. Well, this is a good New College Beecroft. Oxy Monkeys. It is. Leave before the lights come on. Uh, the band members of the Arctic Monkeys were all uh, raised in the city of Sheffield. For your bonuses, you're going to hear three more pieces of music by artists or bands also associated with Sheffield. Five points for each act you can name. Firstly, this band. Human League. It was indeed Human League. Secondly, this artist, please. Open up your door. I can't see your face no more. Love is so hard to find. No, sorry, we don't know. That's Richard Hawley. And finally, can you identify this band? Uh, pulp. That is pulp, yes. Right, ten points for this starter question. 
Described as the first world war by Winston Churchill in A History of the English-Speaking Peoples, which war was fought in Europe, North America and Asia from 1756? To New College Kappelman. Seven Years' War. Seven Years' War is correct, yes. <laughs> New College, these bonuses are on a symbol seen to represent self-reflexivity or the cyclical nature of life. The symbol known by the Greek term Euroboros takes the form of a serpent or dragon doing what? Eating its own tail? Correct. A self-eating, legless, spherical animal may have been the first living thing in the universe, according to Timaeus, in the dialogue by which Greek philosopher? Plato. Correct. The German chemist August Kekulé sometimes claimed that a daydream of a snake seizing its own tail inspired him in his discovery of the structure of which molecule? Benzene. Benzene is correct. Ten points for this. Level pegging. Listen carefully of the 118 elements of the periodic table. Two have symbols which, when read as ordinary English words, become personal pronouns. One is iodine. What's the other? New College Kappelman. Helium. Helium is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on mathematics, New College. Given the following real-valued functions of a real variable, give the values of x at which they are not differentiable. F of X equals the absolute value of X. Zero. Correct. F of X equals X squared. No. Here we go. Three. Uh, nominate Kaplan. Uh, there are none. There are no points. Yes, the empty set. Correct. F of X equals one when X is rational and zero when X is irrational. Everywhere. Everywhere? Yes, all X. Correct. Right, 10 points for this starter question. Also noted for the Berners Street hoax and for sending the first picture postcard, the Victorian eccentric Theodore Hook launched which weekly publication in 1820 noted for its invective and high Toryism? New College Hood. Punch. No, York, one of you have a go. York Leonhardt. Spectator. No, it's John Bull magazine. 10 points for this. In the following approximations, how many zeros follow the number given? If the Earth's circumference in metres is 40, the number of seconds in a year is 31, and the number of identified insect species is 1. York Virgo. 7. Anyone like to have a go from New College? New College Kappelman. 6. 6 is correct, yes. New college or bonuses this time are on homonyms, that is, pairs of words that are spelt and pronounced the same but have different meanings and etymologies. In each case, give the word from the definition. All three have five letters. Firstly, to pursue or approach stealthily, a slender support or stem of an object or of part of an organism, and to stride in a stiff or pompous way. Stalk. Correct. Thin or diaphanous, and to swerve or change course quickly. Come on, let's have uh, it, please. Via. No, the correct answer is sheer. And finally, rhythmic throbbing of the arteries and edible seed of a leguminous plant. Pulse. Pulse is correct. Ten points for this. Slightly larger than the UK. Which oil-rich African country has a flag with three horizontal bands of green, yellow and blue, the yellow being said to symbolise the equator? New College Hood. Angola. No, York have a buzz. York Virgo. Central African Republic. No, it's Gabon. Ten points for this. What single-digit number links the element boron, the fourth root of 625, and the plant... New College Hood. Five. Five is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses this time, New College, are on place names. In English place names, the name of which tree follows Burnt in Barnet, Gospel in Camden, and Oak. Seven in Kent. Correct. Four English rivers, including one that flows through Derby and another in the Lake District, share what name, meaning where oak trees grow? Sorry, we don't know. That's Derwent. And finally, designated a World Heritage Site, which port in southeastern Croatia has a name meaning grove of oak trees? Dubrovnik. Correct. Time for a picture round again. You're going to see a portrait depicting an impressionist painter for your starter. Ten points if you can identify him. New College Hood. Monet. No, one of you buzz from York. York Woods. Manet. No, it's Degas. So, picture bonuses shortly. Ten points at stake.
fingers on the buzzers, here's a starter. In early 2012, two U.S. states marked the centenary of their admission to the Union. For ten points, name either of them. Yorkwood. Texas. No, New College. New College Campbellman. Alaska. No, they were New Mexico and Arizona. Another starter question. Answer as soon as you buzz. In an urn containing five balls, all of different colours, how many different combinations of colours are possible if you draw out three? York Virgo. Fifteen. Anyone like to buzz from New College? New College Kappelman. Ten. Ten is correct, yes. Which means we revert to the picture bonuses. And uh, you saw for that starter question a portrait of Degas painted by Marcelin Desboutins, one of the lesser known Impressionists. Picture bonuses, three more portraits by Impressionist painters of some of their contemporaries. In each case, I want the name both of the artists depicted and the artist who painted it in that order. Firstly, for five. Uh, Surat by Monet? No, it's Monet painted by Manet. Secondly. Uh, Manet by Degas? No, that's Sisley by Renoir. And finally, the figure on the left and the artist who's painted him. Uh, is that Toulouse Lautrec by Degas? No, it's Manet by Degas. Ten points for this. Used by the poet Baudelaire to describe the writer as a detached, mocking dandy in a city crowd. What seven letter word comes from the French for to saunter or stroll aimlessly? York words. Flaneur. Flaneur is correct, yes. Right, your bonuses are on Louis Pasteur, York. In 1885, Louis Pasteur's treatment of the nine-year-old Joseph Meister saw the first successful inoculation against which deadly disease? Smallpox. No, it's rabies. Pasteur discovered that which microbe caused puerperal fever? He named it after the Greek for a bunch of grapes in reference to its appearance under a microscope. Come on. No idea. It's Staphylococcus. Pasteur gives his name to what laboratory equipment used for liquids? Pipette. Pipette. Pipettes is correct. Yes, five minutes ago. Another starter question now. Directed by Lu Chuan, the 2009 film City of Life and Death deals with the 1937 massacre by the Imperial ah, Japanese... New College Hood. Nanjing. Nanjing is correct, yes. And your bonuses are on cinema as well. In each case, name the British director of the following films. Firstly, A Life Less Ordinary, 28 Days Later, and Sunshine. Danny Boyle. Correct. Welcome to Sarajevo, A Cock and Bull Story, and The Killer Inside Me. Let's have it. Uh, sorry, we don't know. That's Michael Winterbottom. And finally, 24-7, Dead Men's Shoes, and This Is England. Uh, Shane Meadows? Correct. Another starter question. Taxing to prevent inflation, price theory, and a program for monetary stability are among the works of which US economist? Uh, New College Hood. Milton Friedman. Correct. Your bonuses this time are on the legislative assemblies of EU member states. In each case, name the city in which the following parliament buildings are located. Firstly, for five points, the Binnenhof. Vienna? No, that's in The Hague. Secondly, Tumpia Castle. Let's have it, please. Uh, Denmark? No, that's Tallinn. And finally, the Grand Master's Palace. Come on. Uh, sorry, we don't know. That's in Valletta. Three and a half minutes ago, ten points for this. Who was President of France when Denmark, Ireland and the UK joined the common market? Your quote. Valérie Giscard d'Estaing. No, anyone want to buzz from New College? New College Hood. George Pompidou. Correct. Your bonuses are on counties of the Republic of Ireland. In an alphabetical list of the 26 counties of the Republic of Ireland, which comes first? Quickly. Amar. Uh, no, that's not in the Republic of Ireland. It's Carlo. Three counties in the Republic of Ireland have a name beginning with M. Name two of them.
Come on. Monaghan and Mull. Mull? <laughs> That's an island off Scotland. No, it's Mayo and Meath are the other ones. And finally, only one county in the Republic of Ireland has a name beginning with the letter S. What is it? Sorry, we don't know. That's Sligo. Ten points for this. What quantity increases from 6,357 to 6,378 kilometres as latitude decreases? York Virgo. Distance to the centre of the Earth? Yeah, I'll accept that, actually. Earth's radius is what is, the, is what the more precise term I was looking for. But yes, I'll accept that. Here are your bonuses. They're on years. What multiple of three is the year in which Henry VIII came to the throne? Uh, three. Six. No, come on, come on, come on. 1530. No, it's 1509. What multiple of four is the year in which Edward VIII abdicated? Um, 1938. No, it's 1936. Which English king came to the throne in August of the year whose factors include 3599 and 297? No, I guess any king. Henry II. Henry VII, 10 points for this. Who in 1705 predicted an event of 1758 based on observations made in 1456, 15... York Virgo! Halley. Edmund Hawley is correct. Yes, your bonuses now are on mathematics. For each of the following sets of real numbers, I want you to tell me their supremum or least upper bound. Firstly, the set of fractions in the form n divided by n plus 1, where n is a positive integer. Two. Two. No, it's one. The set of real numbers whose square is less than two. One. The square root of two. The set of real numbers whose logarithm is at most zero. The empty set. It's one. Ten points for this. In the Cartesian RGB system of colour, what would be seen if red, green and blue were of equal value and at their maxima? Your quote. White. White is correct. Your bonus is this time on Scottish dukes. The holder of which dukedom is known as the Premier Peer of Scotland and the hereditary keeper of the Palace of Holyrood House? Argyle. Come on. Yeah. Argyle. No, it's Hamilton. Flores Castle in the Scottish borders is the family seat of which Scottish dukedom? Glams. No, it's Roxburgh. The holder of which dukedom whose seat is Blair Castle is the only man in Britain permitted to have a private army, an honour bestowed by Queen Victoria? Argyle. No, it's Athol. Ten points for this. Give the US city and state that is the location of the third oldest of the Ivy League universities founded in 1746. York was? Cambridge, Massachusetts. No, quickly, New College, somebody buzz. Ah. New College Hood. Stanford, California. No it's, no, it's Princeton, New Jersey. The mean population density of which... And uh, that's the wrong. York University have 145. New College Oxford have 215. <laughs> We're going to have to say goodbye to you, York, but uh, thank you. You didn't give up. Uh, that was great fun. Uh, New College, of terrific performance again from you. We should look forward to seeing you in the uh, latter stages of the competition now, the really exciting bit. Uh, I hope you can join us next time for the next match in this series. But until then, it's goodbye from York University. Bye. Bye. It's goodbye from New College Oxford. Goodbye. Bye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye.